you for joining me for our workout today. Today we have a 15 minute high intensity interval training on the spin bike. You can do this on a treadmill, an elliptical, a rowing machine, anything you have. I'm on the spin bike today, but whatever you want to use, we'll all follow the same, the same way of our workout here. So we're going to begin right into our warm up. So this is right now on the spin bike, I'm about a five. So if you're on a treadmill or row machine, you are just warming up. So kind of slow at first, resistance is not very high. But our feet are flat, we're pushing and pulling, core is tight, head is up, shoulders down away from your ears. Good. All right, we're gonna warm up here for another minute and 30 seconds. This can be a beginner workout, this can be an advanced workout. You're pushing yourself, you are doing your workout. So let's keep going. We're adding one here on the spin bike. So we're up to a six. A six on the bike, but if you're on a treadmill, rowing machine, elliptical, just pick up your pace a little bit. You can add some incline if you like. Good. We're gonna start this off. We're gonna do 15 seconds of a sprint, followed by a 45 second cool down. That's how this is gonna go. 10 rounds, cool down, stretch, we're done. All right, we've got 30 seconds. Our sprints are gonna vary here on the spin bike between a five and a six. And we're even gonna stand and come up to a seven. But if you're on the treadmill, the row machine, elliptical, you adjust it to where you see fit, to where you are pushing, giving it your all for those 15 seconds. So that will be increasing your speed and also the resistance or the incline. So here we go. Take it down to a five. Good. Picking it back up. The first minute has started, but end of this minute, we are going to sprint. Good. Remember to keep some resistance on that spin bike to protect your knees. As you can see, I am already out of breath. Just through the warm up. I'm doing this today with you, so you are not alone, I'm always here. Good. We're going to go in about five seconds for the very first sprint. Good, let's go. Sprinting, pick it up. Nice. Keep that good form. Breathing. Feet are flat. Almost there. Four. Three. Two, slow it back. Nice. First sprint. Done. Sit up. Grab a drink if you need it. Dry off. We have a towel. Ooh. We are working already. Right. But this is such a good workout. It's short, but it really is effective. So, that's what you're looking for today. This is the perfect workout for you. 15 seconds. Get another sprint. Each sprint closer to our goal. Closer to the finish line. Oh my goodness. We're sprinting again at a five. So if you're on the treadmill, row machine, elliptical, you're staying about where you are. You're just increasing your speed. Let's go. Sprint, push. Good. Almost there. 10 seconds. Pick it up. Good. Slow it back. Nice. Here we go. Add one. Add one. Breathe. You're at your six on the bike. If you're on the treadmill, on the elliptical, or the rower, go ahead and increase the resistance by about one or the incline by about 0.5 or one. So, same thing you're thinking about on the hill. You're running up the hill, you don't necessarily roll up the hill. But... All right, five seconds. Here we go again. Let's go. Sprint at that six, push. Core is tight. Breathing. Core is always tight no matter what piece of equipment you are on. 
Go ahead, almost there. Five seconds. Four, three, two, breathe. Yeah, one more at six. So stay right here, just slowing it down. So in between your sprints for that 45 seconds, the whole point is to bring the heart rate down a little bit. We're not cooling down, we're not resting, we're still working, but we're letting our body just get a small break so that we can push again for 15 seconds. And we're doing it. Three, two, one. Pick it up. 15 seconds. Nice. Good. Seven seconds. Push yourself. Last five. Good. Two and one. Slow it back. Add one. Up to a seven. So we're adding again. About one up on your resistance. If you're on the rowing machine, 0.5 to one, depending on where you want to be on the treadmill. And so, oh my goodness. I really, I love this workout. I hope you're enjoying it. You know, okay. You'll thank yourself for doing it. 10 seconds. Bring it up to standing. We're gonna do a standing sprint. Good. Going in one, push. Nice. Core is tight. Don't lean in on the handlebars. Good, keep it up. Five seconds. Feet are flat, light on your bars. Chest up. Slow it. Good. Have a seat for now. Still at a seven. Still keeping where you are with the resistance on the elliptical or the rowing machine and the incline on the treadmill. Breathing. We're going into 15 seconds. One more. Bring it back up if you're on the bike. Core is tight. Seven seconds. Start picking it up. Start increasing. If you're on the treadmill, the elliptical. And here we go. Push. Nine. Keep going. Ten. Seven. Five. Three. Two. Slow it back. Slow it back. Have a seat. Down one. Back to your six. We're at a six on the bike. Taking it back down depending on where you started. From the treadmill, the row, or the elliptical. Not all the way down. We've got one sprint here at a six. And then we're gonna take it back down to where we started. And then we're almost stuck. Almost done. We have five seconds. You guys are so close. Push it here. Take a deep breath. Close your eyes if you need to. Get mad. Let's go. Push. Nice. Almost there. Good. Keep it up. Five seconds. Four, three, two. Look at that. Good. Now go five. Back to where you started, on the elliptical, treadmill, or rowing machine. 30 seconds. Let's go again. Whew. Man, a couple more. We're so close. We've almost made it. This is awesome. Your day or your night is going to be so much better now that you do this workout. You're going to feel so much better about yourself. Makes you feel good when you work out. But we're almost there. Five seconds. Four. Pick it up because we're almost done. One. Let's go. Nice. Be sure I know coming down the hill, make sure you still have resistance on. Protecting your knees. You're almost there. 
five, four, three, two, Right, off here. Get this. Two sprints. Two sprints and done. Almost to the end. We're doing awesome. We have about 25 seconds left. Drying off again. 15 seconds for these last two sprints. You are going to push as hard as you can. I'm going to call out 10 seconds, five, pick it up every little bit and don't stop until I say we're done. Here we go, 15, come on, push. 10 seconds, pick it up, all out, five seconds, last five, three, two, slow it back. Good job. Still at a five. One more sprint. Cool down and stretch. Okay now. From the beginning. Breathing. Pulling it down just a little bit. <laughs> Put everything into this last one. That's all you have to do. You don't need to stick around for the stretch. Cool down. 15 seconds. Pick it back up a little bit. Get ready so you can get everything out of that 15 seconds. We're going in five. Pick it up. Pick it up. Come on. Let's go. All out. 100%. Good. 10 seconds left. Push that 10. Almost there. Five seconds. Good. Three, two, one. Slow it back. Good. Add one. If you're on the bike, add one. Everyone else, just stick to where you are. The only reason I'm having the bike add one is to slow your legs down a little bit. Easy. Cooling down. We still have our good form. as to when we can kick some more butt. We're going to do one more stretch, holding onto the saddle, reaching back. If you're on the treadmill, you can just hold onto the top or the elliptical, just hop off. You can hold onto the handles, the rowing machine. You can bend over and hold onto the... My words aren't even working right now. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm a little tired. Just stretch it out here. Good, bring it up. One more stretch for our calves. So your foot is on the back of the, of the bike. You can put this on the treadmill, on the elliptical, anywhere to just feel it in the back of your leg and you lean into it. Breathing. All right, we did it. Round of applause, we are done. Thank you so much. I hope you have an awesome day.